ready to swim in. I haven't. Not since that day. <laughs> no, it's okay, I want to learn. I need to talk about it. It was a blistering summer day. A little later more, the Kipsy's local weatherman said it was one of the hottest days in recorded history and advised us to stay in at all costs. But I ignored his warnings. Swimming was my life, and life doesn't stop. Not even for a handsome other man with salt and pepper hair. <laughs> I went to the pool early, got on my swimming suit, and began my morning stretches. It was during my warm-ups that I saw him. A little boy, fiery red hair, freckles sprinkled across his pale white skin, teetering on the edge of the pool. Before I could even think to warn him, he tumbled into the watery abyss. His body thrashed about violently, his eyes closed shut from the sting of glory, his voice silenced from all the water he was swallowing. I jumped into the water and swam over as quickly as I could, but I was too late. He was... That was eight years ago, and I've never since been in a pool ever since. Lily, that was very great of you to share that with me. When this thing got death like that, especially if that of such a young child. No, he didn't die. He was left there pulling all the water. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you can see him here then. He was right. only in the water a few seconds when the white heart came out. He was? Yes. I thought you said it was too late. It was too late for me! I couldn't say it! Because I was too late! <laughs> so, you saw a kid fall into a pool. Who was almost immediately picked up by a lifeguard at that. You know what? Let's just move on. <laughs> so, why did you want to come to this university? <coughs> there are many reasons, I suppose, but only one that ever really mattered. It was a crisp day in March, much like today. Matt Parker, my best friend since the third grade, and I were leaving Mrs. Fleeter's excessively boring geometry class. Amanda had asked me if I thought about applying to college. I told her a little. Then she told me about this university and how I should check it out. I said, maybe, yeah. I was flippant, disregarding my best friend's advice with two little inarticulate words. And those words were the last I ever said to Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 